People love sleeping with their dogs, and it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. Often considered members of the family, the bond between humans and dogs is undeniable. That's why 50% of dog owners report sleeping next to their canine friends. Cuddling up with your dog feels good, but it's not without its issues. Although many viruses or bacteria can't spread from animals to humans, there are some infections that can spread between people and animals. In this video, we will talk about 10 diseases your dog can pass to you and guide you on reducing any risks to ensure that you and your pets stay healthy. Ticks You know you can get a tick from a walk in the woods, but did you know you can also get one from your pet? If your dog has one in its fur and comes to bed with you, the tick might just latch onto you instead of your dog. Ticks carry many diseases contagious to humans, a few of the more notable being Lyme disease, anaplasmosis, and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. All can have serious health consequences for dogs and people. We don't want to make you bugophobic, but if you live in an area where fleas and ticks are common, use preventative products on your pets. There are tick collars, sprays, and shampoos, each made to address specific needs. Salmonella Salmonella infection can lead to diarrhea and fever in dogs and humans. People usually contract salmonella poisoning by eating contaminated or undercooked food. Just like their human counterparts, dogs can get salmonella infection from contaminated food, contaminated water, or a raw diet that is not stored at the correct temperature. International veterinary publications indicate the feeding of raw meat as the most common route of transmission in dogs. The bad news is that salmonella can be transmitted from dogs to humans. Salmonella is typically transmitted if you kiss an infected dog or come into contact with the feces of a dog. Pet waste from both sick and healthy pets can be a source of infection for people. Make sure to wash your hands thoroughly after cleaning up dog poop. Avoid doling out smooches when your dog's visibly ill, frequently vomiting, or having tummy trouble. Mites and Scabies Mites are small, eight-legged bugs. These creatures often feed off your dog's skin oils and earwax. Close contact with other dogs is typically what causes mites to be transmitted to your pet. If you notice your dog excessively scratching around its ears, it may be a sign they have mites. These tiny little bugs are transmissible to humans on close contact, and they are no fun for you and your pet. The most common is the mange mite, causing human scabies, which as the name implies, is very contagious to people. Infected humans usually present with severe itching, skin rash, and red bumps on areas where the mites bite. The best way to prevent dog mites is to ensure your pet doesn't come into contact with another dog who has them. Most routine flea and tick medications should be effective against fur mites. Rabies In dogs, rabies is a fatal disease, and it is transmitted when one infected animal bites another. This viral disease is rare in North America and Europe due to pet vaccinations. Only one in three cases are reported in humans each year. Rabies does spread from dogs to people, though. It can be passed along by a bite or scratch of an infected dog. Once the disease matures in a human, it becomes fatal. If your dog is attacked by another dog or bitten by a wild animal, take it to a vet right away and talk about rabies treatments. Rabies is 100% preventable with vaccination. Your dog should receive a rabies booster every one to three years. Hookworms and Roundworms Hookworm and roundworm eggs can be passed in a dog's stool and infect humans. Hookworms can enter through people's skin. For example, a person who walks barefoot in sand contaminated with dog feces. Roundworms, on the other hand, are transmitted by accidental ingestion of fecal matter. If you or your kids accidentally swallow dirt that has been contaminated with infected dog feces, worms may start growing in your guts. Because of these zoonotic parasites, pets are usually not allowed on beaches. To prevent canine hookworm and roundworm infection, deworm your dogs regularly and do not allow children to place dirty objects in their mouths. Remember to clean up and discard dogs' feces from your lawn. Ringworm If worms freak you out, there is good news. Ringworm is not a worm. It is a fungus that causes a ring-shaped infection on the skin. The bad news is that ringworm is very contagious and can transmit from dogs to humans. Dogs can catch ringworm either through direct contact with an affected animal or from a contaminated environment like a grooming or boarding care facility where ringworm spores are present. 
As you can imagine, dogs that interact with other dogs or animals are more prone to catching ringworm. Infected dogs usually have scaly patches of skin with hair loss. People and kids can get ringworm simply from touching infected dogs. It looks like a circular red rash on the skin and can be quite itchy. And even if you haven't heard of ringworm before, you've probably heard of it by its other names – athlete's foot or jock itch. Campylobacter Some people call it food poisoning. Campylobacter is one of the most common illnesses that cause diarrhea in the United States and Europe. It is an infection often caused by bacteria you can get from contaminated food, contaminated water, or raw or undercooked poultry. Dogs can also be infected, often by ingesting or coming into contact with infected feces or infected food. This is an important consideration for dog owners, as Campylobacter infection in dogs can spread to humans. People can get infected through contact with feces from an ill dog. If you become infected, signs and symptoms may include diarrhea, belly pain, and fever. This sort of thing won't kill you, but it is easily avoidable if you maintain proper hygiene. Make sure to wash your hands thoroughly after cleaning up dog pee, poop, or vomit. Allergies and Asthma If you're already allergic to dogs or have asthma, you shouldn't allow your pet to sleep in your bed or even in your room. Pet dander circulates in the air of a home that has animals, travels through the house, and accumulates on surfaces. Therefore, it is a good idea to keep your bedroom door closed throughout the day, and you can use a high-quality air purifier to reduce your exposure. Leptospirosis Leptospirosis is a bacteria that is found in the urine of infected animals. Our dogs can contract this infection from puddles or bodies of water that is contaminated by infected wildlife. Though this infection does require contact with infected urine, it's much easier than you may think to inadvertently come in contact with your pet's urine. These bacteria can survive in water or soil for weeks to months. Leptospira enters your body through broken skin, ingestion, or your eyes, nose, or mouth. Infection in people can cause flu-like symptoms. Get your pet vaccinated against the disease, and don't swim in water that may be contaminated with animal urine. Tapeworm The risk of infection with tapeworm in humans is very low. For a person to become infected with tapeworm, he or she must accidentally swallow an infected flea. The most effective way to prevent infections is through flea control products. Fecal matter There's no denying it. Dogs often step in, play in, and even eat fecal matter. They track it into your house and bedroom with every step they take. Not only is this gross, but it's an easy way to transmit parasites and bacteria, like E. coli or Salmonella. Make sure to clean your dog's paws and snout after a walk using pet-safe products such as wet wipes, dog shampoo, and water. Never use toxic products such as alcohol or bleach on dogs. Can dogs spread COVID-19? COVID-19 can spread from people to animals during close contact. If you are sick with COVID-19, you should avoid contact with your pets, just like you would with people. However, research suggests that it's extremely unlikely to catch coronavirus from a cat or dog. In fact, the World Health Organization states that there is no evidence that a dog, cat, or any pet can transmit COVID-19 to humans. This is because a person needs to be highly infected with the virus in order to pass it along. And since the animals are unable to become highly infected, they are not carriers. In short, the chance of contracting a disease from your dog is very low if your dog doesn't go outside. If your pet does go outside, the risk increases as they have a better chance of becoming infected with a virus, parasite, or bacteria from another animal from being in a fight, eating the feces of an infected animal, eating a prey animal, or walking in a contaminated area. Most physicians won't tell you to not sleep with your pet unless you're part of the population at the greatest risk, which includes those who have a weak immune system, elderly, or pregnant women. The best way to reduce or eliminate your risk of contracting diseases from your dog is through good hygiene and cleanliness practices. Make sure your dog has no fleas, ticks, illnesses, or parasites, and that he has up-to-date vaccinations. If your dog shows any signs of illness, make sure you consult the vet before letting them sleep in your bed. Wash your hands after any contact with your urine or feces and clean up your dog poop from your lawn. Regardless of hygiene, we must consider whether sleeping on the same bed provides adequate rest to the animal and ourselves. 
If you find that by sleeping with your dog you don't receive sufficient rest, opt for placing their bed close to yours. For some people, sleeping with a dog causes disruption, and for others it helps. Interestingly enough, one study published by Mayo Clinic Proceedings found that sharing your bed with your canine companion may actually improve your sleep. Cuddling with your pet also leads to the release of oxytocin, the love chemical that reduces stress and elevates your mood. It can also help lower your heart rate, eases insomnia, and results in a higher sleep efficiency score. Now that you know more about common diseases your dogs can pass to you, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you let your dog sleep in your bed? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.